lots of art lovers i am nirma and as today is a international yoga day we will be doing this meditation chakra painting let's get into zen while painting this chakra activated meditation now before starting this painting let me tell you something about chakras so according to the yoga chakras are the various focal points in the subtle body they are known as wheel or ring in sanskrit these have energies coiled within them now when activated they transform cosmic energies into spiritual energies by activating these chakras we can achieve perfect physical health and this is achieved by pranayama and asanas now grab your paint brushes and colors let's get started now these are the materials used check my description box for the specific materials which i have used okay Let's take a bit of water with double zero round brush and spread it in a radiating manner. I have taken a bit of scarlet and made it flow in the direction of water. Wow. Look at that beauty. I've taken a bit of green. I'm adding a bit more water. And trying to make the color flow in the direction of water i'm taking some more water and just giving a shape by my double zero round brush I'm taking a bit more of scarlet. Ah, oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just observe and just immerse your mind the way the color dances in the direction of water. again a bit of green and letting it flow Now I'm taking gamish hue for the center and spreading it up. You can take any sort of color related to yellow. I feel the water is bit more so I'm just sucking it up with the help of zero fire brush near the scarlet area. With the same brush I am putting drops of scarlet and just mixing it up here and there just playing with the color a bit more 
and giving the shape of radiating it from the center. Always try to do lighter version and then move to the darker version. So I'm just darkening up. Again I'm using a bit of water with 0 5 brush here and there, especially near the green color. I'm just putting drops of color here and there. I'm slowly mixing it up and trying to get a shape. I'm taking yellow, putting it in a center, near to the scarlet area, now I'm taking a bit of Scarlet, a bit of drops, and in the same manner as I did, I am just joining it and trying to get a shape like as if it is radiating from the center. Just enjoy the process, just relax and breathe. I am using a crimson shade to darken it near the scarlet area. Slowly trying to spread up the green color with the little bit of scarlet, not much as of now. At the center I used a little bit of gamble's blue or any shades of yellow you can use. I am letting this to dry for a while and after drying completely we are going to draw a yogi figure at the center. Now after drying first you draw the circle at the center in the mid of the sheet okay and then Draw the straight line and then draw 8 in a sleeping shape that will be the leg. Okay. Then to draw the hands just mark the points which I did. Slowly start from the neck and then extend it to the leg. Give some shape. You need not worry about the inside because we will be coloring it with black. I am using the same fine liner to fill it up. entire figure will be black so that the points of the chakra when we draw will be highlighted. There are seven chakras Muladhara chakra, Swadhisthana, Manipura, Anhata, Vishuddha, Adnya and Sahasrara chakra. Pranayama and asanas uncoil and alert these chakras. Fill the figure completely with the black color and give shape if it is necessary. So I am just filling it up. 
only it seems like a female figure. And slightly just give a shape to the hand on either side. The first chakra is Muladhara or root chakra which is situated at the base of the spine. The color is red and this chakra is related to survival security and is closest to the earth. The function of this chakra is earthly grounding and physical survival. When opened, one will feel safe and fearless. So this is the representation of Muladhara chakra. Our second chakra is sacral or Swadhisthana chakra. The color of this is orange and is situated in the pelvis near sacrum below the navel and is related with the emotional body and our willingness and ability to feel our emotions. When opened, one will feel passionate, sensual, creative and connected to his or her feelings. The third chakra is Manipura or solar plexus or navel chakra which is situated behind the navel and represented by yellow color which is associated with our self-esteem, sense of purpose, personal identity, individual will, digestion and metabolism. The fourth chakra is Anhata or heart chakra which is situated in the central channel of spine near heart represented by green color and is associated with the ability to make decisions outside the realm of karma. Now when opened, one will feel being deeply connected, the harmonious exchange of energy with all. The fifth chakra is throat or Vishuddha chakra which is situated at throat and is represented by blue color. It is the communication center which balances what we express, what we think and what we feel. When this chakra is open, a person is a good listener, enables other person to have the experience of being heard. The sixth chakra is Ajna chakra or third eye, which is located in the brain behind the center of the eyebrows. The color is indigo. It is the chakra of wisdom and concerns. Involved in mental and reasoning abilities when opened, one will not only see but also understands. The seventh chakra is Sahasrara or crown chakra which is located at the crown of the head, represented by violet color. It connects us with the universe and the divine source of creation. When opened, Energy in this chakra allows us to experience mystical oneness with everyone and everything in nature. So these are the significances of seven chakras. I am using fine liner to correct chakras. Meanwhile, I am using colors wherever I find it is necessary to correct it. You can use glitter pens to highlight these chakras directly without using any acrylics. Now I am taking crimson red with my 0.5 round brush to, to darken the edges of the scarlet area. You can just stop. If you want, you can just darken it with the help of crimson red. I am taking my double zero brush to give details. 
I have used a bit of different colors for the last two chakras. You can go for the specific colors which is represented with. Hope you are finding some sort of soothing, relaxing effect on your body, mind and soul. Yoga teaches balance, stability, control, focus, confidence, positive attitude, content and self-motivation which I have been experienced in my personal life. Yoga nourishes our body not only externally but also internally which ultimately leads to peace. So here is the chakra activated meditation miniature painting. Hope you have enjoyed the process of painting. Thank you so much. If you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification. Don't forget to follow and like on Instagram and Facebook to see my paintings. Art, Hugs and Peace. Namaste.